I'm going to start with something I wasn't even going to talk about tonight. A lot of the speakers that have been up here already, Sheila, Ryan, about five or six of them already who have spoken on certain issues and have not said anything bad about any teachers here. That's right. They're not saying stuff bad about you. There may be another fringe element out there, but it's not this group. <clears throat> well, my congratulations go out to the town council last night for allowing the people of Enfield to speak on a very controversial issue for over two hours. Unlike this board that is still controlling speech of concerned parents to three minutes. Also, congratulations to this board at its last in-person meeting for a well-played move created by, I'm not sure who, whether it was Tina, Ellen, Chris, leadership, or any combination thereof, for stifling the speech of many concerned parents from speaking on a couple issues that this democratically controlled Board of Education does not or cannot deal with. One, the masking of kids in schools now and at the end of the month. The masking of parents at a Board of Ed meeting and please don't give me that phony crisis that Ellen Zappo Sousa tried to sell on us as an excuse. And also, this Pizzagate thing. But my concern tonight, my main concern here, is whether or not this Board of Education, not the superintendent, not the town manager, but you people, the Board of Education for Enfield, Connecticut, when the governor says that the mask mandate or the legislature says the mask mandate is going to be up to the individual school districts to determine their mask mandate policy, will this board commit to allowing masks to be optional? Also, again, I didn't want to speak to this. This whole idea about it was a mistake. It was a mistake. I'm tired of listening to this mistake. I taught school in this town for 38 years. I negotiated two damn good contracts for the teachers. I know how the system works. You get a group of teachers to form a committee and write the curriculum. Then that is passed on to the whole department usually. It may have changed now because we don't have department heads. But then it's got to go up to the health coordinator. Then it gets to down and the board. You have a curriculum committee. You go over it. How this got passed down, where the mistake was made, I don't know. I'm not blaming the teacher who did it. The teacher maybe should have looked over the material. Uh, the one I feel bad for the most, or blame the most, is a coordinator that never should have even been there to get out by accident. <laughs> 